One of the paradoxes of being uh, a writer of topical songs is that if you do it long enough, the bastard things become topical again. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. It's almost as if we didn't resolve those problems by singing about them. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm finding songs I wrote a long, long, long time ago now. I, I can dedicate them to Trump, to Brexit, to Theresa May, to Iceland, everything. It's, uh, it's an annoying thing, but it's even more uh, uh, true of Woody Guthrie, who, you know, songs he was writing 17 years ago are as sharp and as pertinent uh, as, uh, as they ever were today. And I'm going to sing one for you now. I think is incredibly relevant uh, to what is happen happening in America at the moment. And, um, it concerns something from deep, deep down inside, uh, inside Woody's, uh, Woody's heritage. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Bob Dylan's song, Desolation Row. It begins, yeah, yes. it begins with the line, they're selling postcards of the hanging. Now, Dylan might be using all sorts of weird imagery in the rest of that song, but when he uses that line, he's not making anything up. He's taking a line out of your history, a line from uh, a time around 100 years ago when uh, it was perfectly possible for American, white American citizens to murder African Americans and not be held account for it through, uh, through lynching. And a terrible aspect of that that's not often mentioned is that the townsfolk, the lynch mob, would often pose smiling with the grisly uh, results of their, uh, their murderous intent and uh, have a photograph taken, then made into a postcard, which was sold in shops in the town to discourage African Americans from coming to the town. This is a key part of, of lynching culture. And it wasn't just a, an aberration, it, there was enough towns did this for someone a couple of years ago, a few decades, uh, uh, last decade, to compile a book of these awful memento mori, uh, put them into a book. And, and I've, se I've seen this book, and all of the pictures are utterly shocking, but the, the one that really stood out to me was a photograph of a, an African-American woman in a calico dress and a child beside her who seemed to be levitating above a body of water. Just that image alone was so stark, it, it, was, it, gave, it literally gave me nightmares, literally. That's shocking enough. You then see that they're both <coughs> hanging from a bridge over a river. But the real shocking thing for me about that photograph, the thing that really uh, uh, made it stand out was the fact that it was taken in Okima, Oklahoma, Woody Guthrie's hometown, just two years before he was born. And the biographers of Woody have remarked that uh, it's very possible that his father, Charlie, was part of the lynch mob, involved in the lynch mob there. And I think this image, Woody would have undoubtedly been familiar with it as a child. And uh, I'm sure it played into the writing of this song, um, which is called Hang Not, Slip Not. And uh, the reason why it's so pertinent is that it is still possible in the United States of America for African Americans to be killed and nobody to be properly held to account. It's why your sportsmen have been taking the knee for the past month. Did you ever see a hangman? I slip now Did you ever see a hangman I slip now Yeah I've seen it many times and he winds and he winds and after three times Got a slip knot. Tell me, will that slip knot slip? No, it will not. Tell me, will that slip knot slip? No, it will not. It'll slip around your neck, but it won't. Back again, that slip not good all oh, that slip not. Did you ever lose your 
your brother to a slip knot? Did you ever lose your brother to a slip knot? Yeah, they hung him from a pole and they shot him full of holes and left him. Makes the law for that slip knot. Tell me who makes the law for that slip knot? Who says who is going to the Caliboos to get that hangman's news? Don't know who made the law for that slip knot. But the bones I've made in me are twisting and holding all because he made the laws with a slip knot. Yeah, the bones I've made. Because he made it lost with a slipknot.